replace something for you that I just put on my EV3 brick. Hopefully you can see this. It's kind of hard with reflection. So what you notice there is you've got a little bit of a smiley face and a laugh, and then you've got some crunching teeth and a dog growl. Let's see how I did that program by looking on my iPad. Now I'm having a few issues with this robot and its connectivity, which is why I am, uh, which is why I showed you the program first because I keep disconnecting from my robot. Let's go ahead and look at how I programmed the robot to do that. This may look uh, confusing or complex, but it is actually pretty simple and easy to do. This was the program. I'm going to rebuild this program for you. Right here, we have the start button. Always use that when you're starting off a program. And then you've got three colored tabs at the bottom, green, orange, and purple. I'm going to stick with green mostly. On the end of green, you've got a display command a sound command, and a brick light command. I'm going to take the display command and bring it up and let's explore what this can do. You have a few options with the display command. One of those options is you can, by clicking on the folder, you can do text, shapes, or images. And we're gonna stick with images because they're the most fun. When I click on the word Mindstorms, I get the options for the images. I've got different expressions. You can see where I got the smiley face and the crunching uh, mouth to open, mouth shut. Um, you can pretend you're tired, angry, lots of different things. You've got eyes, information, Lego, objects, and progress status bars. Right. So what I did is I started off with the expressions, I did the happy face, and then I went over here, to make this a bit smaller, to time, and I said, let's just wait a second while that happy face is up there. And then I said, after that happy face, let's go back. Now let's start getting that um, mouth. And I said, I'll take first a closed one. We'll wait half a second. And then we will get an open mouth. And then we'll wait half a second. Now I could repeat this five or six times, but there's a much easier way to do this instead of repeating, right? After the smile, I want the mouth to go like this. So I'm just gonna go down here to the orange tab, take out this middle one that says loop. Now these loops are weird. You don't put them around things, you put things inside them. So I'm gonna slide it here after I wait that one second. I'm gonna scoot over, tap the green bar at the top of that mouth to shut. I'm gonna click select to end. That now highlighted the rest of the uh, commands. I'm going to slide them in here. And then at the end of this loop where that infinity symbol, that sideways number eight is, I'm going to go to count and I'm going to make it open and close seven times. Now, if I was to do this just now, you would see a smiley face and then the chomping jaws, but I also added the sounds in there. So if you were to take sounds and put them in between, what would happen is you would see something, then hear something, then see something, then hear something. I don't want that to happen. I want to see and hear things at the same time. So I'm going to tap right here. I'm going to tap wire from here. And I'm going to tap down here. Now my sounds are going to go at the same time as my pictures. So I started off with the laughing, I believe. <laughs> okay. And then I'll wait that one second. I want to start growling. I think that was an animal, right? Yeah. I like that. Okay, and because I wanted to make sure that 
You heard that for the whole time. I took another loop out. I put the dog growl in there. And I guessed, I didn't exactly know how long it took, so I guess about 10 seconds. And you can play with that to get the right time and the right number. Now I'm going to try to do this quickly and connect to the brick. I call the brick 1F. I changed the name of it earlier. Let's see if this works. I've been having a little bit of trouble at home getting the brick to, to receive programs. Looks like it's about to work. All right, so if you notice there, the growling went on while the mouth is open, so that 10 seconds was a little bit too long. I can change that later. So now it's gonna be up to you students to decide how and what you want to do. You can have any sort of um, graphics and any sort of sounds in your program. Uh, listen to your instructor's instructions, your teacher's instructions for more specifics and details. Thank you.